Hi, this is Samia from Henna Fixation with Your Dose of Henna Fix and today we're talking about setting up your henna business. So I don't know what's going on, maybe a lot of people are coming across my videos and they haven't seen a lot of my channel or they have not seen my other videos. A most important question I've been getting these days is, well, I am a henna artist, I want to start doing henna, what do I do? And um, well, actually I'm here to address this very question in a little bit of a different format. Well, this is coming from a person and my little sister can attest to that because I think the little siblings get the worst of you. So my little sister can attest to that because every time she would ask me a question like, oh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Figuring out the computer or figuring out whatever, uh, you know, I would tell her, oh, why don't you find that for yourself? That's not the best way to say it, but my response was, why don't you find out for yourself a lot more than she probably liked? And maybe she remembers that um, until now. I don't know. But uh, I mentioned that because I am a firm believer in empowering yourself. You have to find out the information. You have to find out the resources and resources are out there. I don't think there is a single business where there's like a perfectly laid out outline. If you want to do this business, then this is what you do. And then in the end, it's like ultimate success. I don't think there is such a thing because it just can't happen. There's so many factors that are going to affect your business, your surroundings, the place you are, your market, you know, your your finances. So many things come into play in you setting up a business. And despite all of this and my personal views and how I chose to um, help my sister, I actually have a lot of videos on my channel that talk about how to start a business, how to become a professional henna artist, how to price your henna, how to work with different artists. I have a lot of information out there and so I'm going to link uh, at the playlist down below where you can find that information and feel free to browse through my channel because there is actually, uh, I try my best to share whatever it is that I know. And so as I mentioned, there are a couple of videos and my videos tend to be a little bit longer than people say you should have but I like to put stuff in there uh, but this video is gonna be like a shorter version I'm gonna give you a brief outline if that's what you're looking for and I hope that it will help you in some way if you like doing henna you think henna is a lot of cool and you see people are interested in it and you're like you know what I want to start this as a henna business well the number one thing you're going to do is actually find out whether you are good or not um, I don't know about you, but as for me, sometimes I can have blinders on my face, you know, in which I'm like not able to see the reality of the situation when it comes to my own work. Hey, you know, the house looks pretty clean, but it's really not that clean or, you know, the food is really good, but it's like, all right, you know, so it's really good to have an outside person looking in and telling you whether you are ready for your henna business or not. And I do have some tips on how to figure this out, asking somebody you trust, somebody who is just not going to tell you what you want to hear. Um, you know, maybe your family member will not be good, but sometimes you can have a sister like me. Um, who is kind of mean to her siblings and maybe you will have like a brutally honest person in your life and if you do ask them be like hey so you know check out some of the other works that you're doing that you admire or the artists that you look up to do some market research as far as henna artists in your country or in your region figure out what kind of work they're doing what is their level and then have someone compare that with you and you know figure out the best and the worst and where do you stand in the best or the worst category so now that you've figured out if you are good enough to do henna as a business and I hope that you are because you're giving quality work to people, your business is going to be just as good as the amount and love and effort that you put into it. So if you're doing work that is not good enough, well, this is a time where you go back, practice, get to that level, and then you start your business um, aspirations. So after you figure out that you're good enough, now you're going to see, well, how is henna faring into your community? You have to look at the market research as they call it and i think it's a very fancy word and i say it and i sound very fancy even if i don't know what i'm talking about but that's what they call it it's called market research and so which basically means that you're going to put yourself out there you're going to find out if people in your community are interested um, and you know what if you already have an established henna community that means you have a person who's been doing henna um, and you know they've been offering to the community that means that your community is already ripe it's ready and it's ready for your work so the 
the most difficult way is if you're the first person who's starting henna in your community, you're going to have to find ways to introduce it, whether it is by going to classrooms, offering it in the library, um, you know, just offering it for free, or maybe putting yourself out there doing a fundraiser or anything like that. So you just want to be uh, doing that if you are by yourself. And if you have another artist that established, well, this makes it a little bit easier because now you can check out their work, you can look at their website, see the quality of their website, the quality of their work, what they're charging, and that would help you out. However, I want to stress this really well, that if you have an established artist in your community who is doing henna and offering it to people and they're good artists and they're like, you know, like nice people, well, approach them, okay? It is very nice to have a relationship built with the artist. You just don't want to start off in a negative way with that person who's really worked hard to build the community and suddenly here's this one person coming and saying, hey, I want to do it too, because that can seem a little bit competitive, right? So find your way, whatever way that works for you in order to maintain a good relationship with the artist. You know, sometimes they're artists and they just don't want to talk to you. They don't want to have a relationship. Well, you know, you try one, twice or three times. It's not been reciprocated. That means, well, that's what you do. You just have to live with that. But if you have not made any effort, I don't think it's very fair. Try to make an effort, make a relationship with the artist, and that would be a good way to go. So now that you find out, hey, what is going on, that henna is actually going to be a lucrative business in your community, whether part-time, full-time, whatever it is that you're trying to look for, if it's only for pocket money or to, you know, do some big things in your life, I don't know. But if you say, hey, you know what, henna is a good thing, well, at this point, now you have to do your work. That means you have to find out about sourcing henna, you have to find out about sourcing supplies, about sourcing, um, you know, business cards, if you need banners, any kind of a, uh, you know, material, business marketing material that you're going to be handing out to people, you're going to have to figure this out, as well as how to formulate a good website, how to form a good, you know, Facebook page or Instagram page or whatever marketing that works in your region. Figure that out and really jump on that because you really want to build yourself up before you, um, you know, address yourself to the people. Because when the people hear about you, oh, well, who is this person? Who is this kind of business? And they're going to look you up. So you want to, you know, have like a really nice presentation for them in which they can have a good vision of who you are as an artist, what kind of service you provide, how professional you are, how chill you are, etc., etc. So, uh, yeah, you want to have a presence, online presence, physical presence, and in forms of marketing material, etc. Or, or when people are trying to find out who you are. A lot of that is actually a big financial investment. Uh, website can be expensive, especially if you're going to have someone make it for you. All of that stuff can be there. But but you know what? You're starting a business. There's going to be something over there. So you want to raise money for that if you don't already have it. Maybe you want to raise it by offering henna to friends. Maybe you want to, you know what I mean? It's like raise it a little here and there so you have enough of a market that's built so that you can buy the supplies, so that you can buy everything. However, in the beginning, there is an investment. Okay, so and then in conjunction to that, what you want to be looking into is what your city requires. Um, if you're in the United States, I don't know how things work in the rest of the world. But if you're here in the city, in the state, they have rules and regulations. If you're going to start doing your business, whether you need a license, whether you need a certifications, whether you need insurance, all that kind of stuff you want to find out. Um, in the US, insurance is very highly recommended. Get yourself insured. Um, as far as you know licensing and whatever whether what if you need a business license or if you do what kind of license you need that is something you're going to have to figure out because it's different in every city especially when it comes to taxes you know talk to your um, cna find out what it is that they are recommending well this is the paperwork you have to have on file by the end of the tax season this is what you need this is what you need to collect etc etc they will tell you so you need to do that research there's no one else that can help you except for someone who is living in the same city as you and one tip i would say is to call up that city and find that information i have found my city here to be very nice and very helpful in giving that information um they kind of you know point you towards the right directions and there's a lot of information on their website as well this is a part which is going to take a lot of your time a lot of your effort and in some ways a lot of your money because you're going to have to invest your time and effort and money into figuring out how you know how to set up your business so as a website social marketing paper marketing licenses insurance and supplies all of that fall into a big money and time category so take your time maybe you want to give yourself a couple of weeks or a month whatever to figure this out 
But once you do, then you're ready to go. And the last step I guess I can say right now is to build your portfolio, do more henna, get more pictures, become better and better. Don't ever allow yourself to say, you know what? I'm good enough because you're not good enough, okay? I'm going to tell you if you want to take this seriously, and I say this to myself before I say this to you, like, don't think that you're good enough. You have a lot more work to do than you think and keep on improving. Get Take better pictures than you did before. Do better work than you did before. You know, make a better website than you did before. Always be improving and advancing yourself and, and educating yourself about the new stuff that's going on and so that you're always on the front end of the game and you're not lagging behind to someone else's speed. While you're improving, then you're probably going to try to say, well, should I do henna in a studio? Should I do henna, you know, in someone else's place where you're probably renting for them or paying them a percentage? Or should you do henna in festivals or events around town? You got to figure that out. Whatever events that you want to do, contact them, find out, you know, what is the fees? What are the applications? How to apply, etc., etc. Uh, so this is, again, more research. And I have said this in multiple of my videos. I love doing henna. I don't enjoy the business part of it. If someone could become my business manager, that'd be great. But at this point, my finances cannot afford that. So until then, I am the business manager and I am the artist. It's not fun, it's a little bit dry, but once you get a hang of it and get used to losing here and there, because you're gonna lose a little bit in this game, okay? So get used to that, then you're going to find a little bit of a rhythm where you're like, okay, I can do this, where you can find the confidence and the strength and the drive to keep your business going. At the end of the day, what matters is what is ongoing. This advice I can tell you, based on my very limited business experience, is to keep going going don't give up all right there's gonna be some things i've had some health issues and where i've had to kind of scale back and until i can find myself back out there again and i had to do that and that's all right uh, this is a choice that i made and so you're gonna have to make your own choices to figuring out well uh, you know how much of the time I'm investing into it how much of my uh, practicing you know i'm investing into it and uh, what kind of qualities uh, of uh, you know how many different types of body art services that you want to give. I mean, that's totally up to you. Uh, but at the end, what really matters is your continuous effort and your dedication, despite the setbacks, despite the difficulties you might have in your personal life or professional life. You just have to keep going. And this was my video and this was my short response. I tried, I really tried to be short in this. <laughs> So I hope that you're able to get some tips in here and if you've been watching my videos for a very long time then This was a pretty good refresher um, on the stuff that I've already talked about So I hope you found this video useful either way and I hope I will see you next time until then henna on